Welcome back. This is another exciting episode of Mr. Takeda Teaches Algebra. I'm your host, Mr. Takeda, and I'm going to teach you some algebra. This is episode 4.3 on parallel and, per and perpendicular lines, specifically in the coordinate plane, graphing them. And our essential question is, how do you recognize lines that are parallel or perpendicular? Well, these are two easily answered questions. Let us begin. Parallel lines and slopes. All right, two lines in the same plane that never intersect are parallel lines. You kind of knew that already, about never intersecting. Non-vertical lines, this is the important part, are parallel if and only if they have the same slope. Same slope, and I'm going to add to this definition, the same slope and different y-intercepts. If they have the same slope and the same y-intercept, essentially they're the same line. So they can't be parallel to itself. And then also all vertical lines are parallel. So if you think about that, all, all uh, vertical lines are parallel. parallel. Okay, In, well, let's, 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 let's refine that. They're parallel. They have no slope. They have an undefined slope or they have no slope or however you want to say it. Um, so they're all parallel to each other. Okay, so let's take a look at what this means. Make sure you get that definition into your, your notes. And it says, determine which of the lines are parallel here. Well, in order to do that, we have to um, calculate slope of all three of these um, lines here. So the slope of A, well, 3 minus 2, by change in Y, over negative 4 minus 1. So 3 minus 2 is 1. Negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5, so my slope here is negative 1 fifth. My slope for B, um, 0 minus negative 1, and negative 3 minus 1. So 0 minus negative 1 is like saying 0 plus 1, so 1. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. So I have negative 1 fourth. I know they're, they're kind of drawn to look like they're parallel, but maybe they really aren't because we're only looking at small sections of them. Then finally for C, a negative 4 minus negative 5. And negative 3 minus 2. Okay, so negative 4 minus negative 5 is like saying negative 4 plus 5. So that's 1. And negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. So this is negative 1 fifth as well. So which of these lines are parallel? A and C, because they have the same slope. And we can see from the picture that they have different y-intercepts. But uh, A and C are parallel. B is not it looks like it might be it's very close, but you can kind of tell it's a little bit further apart here than it is here. And this is a little bit further apart there than it is here. So very, uh, very close, hard to tell by looking at it. But A and C are the parallel lines because they have the same slope. All right. Now, we want to write an equation of the line that passes through 5, negative 4, and is parallel to the line y equals 2x plus 3. Let's talk about what we know about parallel lines. Parallel lines have the same slope. Now, the line that we're given is 2x plus 3, and so that is the slope. So my new slope is also going to be 2. They give me another point that this is going through, 5, negative 4. So I have this... I have this uh, Here's what's happening. I have this, uh, this line that has a y-intercept of 3 and a slope of 2. So it kind of looks something like this. And then we want to uh, draw, uh, we want an equation line that's parallel to this one and goes through 5, negative 4. 
So one, two, three, four, five, negative four, one, two, three, four. It's going through this point, and it's going to be parallel to the original line. So we want the equation for this green line here. That's what we're being asked to do. Okay, so our new slope is also going to be two, and we have this other point. So what can we use? We can use point slope form. So y minus negative four is equal to my new slope of two, or the same slope of two, I should say, times uh, x minus five. Okay, I'm going to just I'm going to distribute here and here. So this is y plus four equals two x minus ten. I said distribute here, but that's not really just distributing. That's just multiplying. To be clear, so I'm subtracting four from both sides. So y will equal two x minus fourteen, and it kind of passes the uh, the sniff test here. You know, if this line were probably drawn correctly and keeps going down, 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 down here, it's going to cross out negative 14, slope is 2. So that's, uh, that's the equation of the line parallel to 2x plus 3 and going through 5, negative 4, y equals 2x minus 14. All right, so let's take a look at, um, that's, that's pretty simple. Let's take a look at perpendicular lines. This one's a little more confusing. Uh, two lines in the same plane that intersect to form right angles are perpendicular. You knew that. Non-vertical lines are perpendicular if and only if their slopes are negative reciprocals. Or you can say opposite. I'm going to say opposite and reciprocal. I like that better. Opposite reciprocals. Vertical lines are perpendicular to horizontal lines. Okay. So let's take a look at this. what this means here real quick. The blue line has a slope of negative 2. The red line has a slope of positive 1 half. Right? So what's the opposite of negative 2? The opposite, um, well, we multiply by negative 1 to get the opposite. We have positive 2. And then what's the reciprocal of 2? The reciprocal is 1 half. So 1 half is opposite and reciprocal to negative 2. So one of these is going to be parallel. I mean, one of these is going to be positive. One's going to be negative. And then if you multiply them together, you, basically if you multiply these together, you're going to get a negative 1. That's going to make them reciprocal and opposite. Okay, if you're not sure about that, just take a look at this one more time. Let's take a look at some uh, uh, ways we can look at these problems here. Determine which of the lines, if any, are parallel and perpendicular. So again, we have to find slope. Well, the slope here, this one's 4. This is in slope-intercept form ready, 4. This one, we have to put into slope-intercept form, so I'm going to subtract x from both sides. So 4y equals negative x plus 3. And dividing everything by 4, y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 3 fourths. So here, here my slope is negative 1 fourth. Then over here, I'm going to, again, solve for y. I'm going to add 2x to both sides, giving me 2x plus 16. Dividing everything by negative 8, y equals, I'm going to just do it this way so I can make sure I see what I'm doing. Okay, so y equals 2 divided by 8 is uh, 1 fourth, so this is negative 1 fourth x. And positive divided by negative is a negative, so negative 2. So here, the slope is also negative 1 fourth. Okay? So 4, negative 1 fourth, and negative 1 fourth. So A is perpendicular to B. A is perpendicular to C. Because those are opposite and reciprocal. And then B is parallel to C because they have the same slope. Okay, so it's a matter of being able to put these into slope-intercept form and looking at the slopes and then understanding what's parallel, what's perpendicular, opposite and reciprocal or equal. Okay, pretty, it sounds pretty basic to me. 
but hopefully it is to you too, but the opposite and reciprocal can to mess people up. Now, we're being asked to write an equation of the line that passes through negative 3, 1 and is perpendicular to the line of y equals 1 half x plus 3. So just a little common sense check here. Here's my y is up to 3. Um, here is my, oops, I want a positive 1 half. Here's my y equals 1 half x plus 3. So we want to go through point negative 3, 1. I see it, it. It's so close. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, but we wanted to do something like that. And it's going to be perpendicular. Okay. So if my old slope of the green line is 1 half, then my new slope is going to be negative 2. Okay, and now we'll just use point slope form. So y minus 1 is equal to negative 2 times x minus negative 3. So y minus 1 is equal to negative 2 times x plus 3. And now, simplifying this on the right side, negative 2x minus 6. And then if I add 1 to both sides, y equals negative 2x to negative 6 plus 1, negative 5. And you can see this is a negative 2. And if, uh, if, if this red line were to continue down here, it looks like it would have a y-intercept of, of negative 5. Again, this is just a sketch. but So this looks about right to me, a negative 2x minus 5. OK. Um, so pretty simple point slope form is used a lot for this. Uh, understanding parallel lines have the same slope, perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite and reciprocal. Um, so just applying that information, this was a pretty simple lesson. And that's it for now. Here's one of my favorite characters. Um, so um, I'll see you in class. Have a great rest of your day.